Hey guys, welcome to Calculus Daily, episode 8. We'll be looking at three merit questions from 2013. So here we go.
Okay, so with the differentiation one, you're asked to find any points of inflection. Now remember for points of inflection, what needs to be zero? Yep, so basically you want f double dash of x equal to zero. What? So we've got f of x equals e to the power of 6 minus x squared. All right, so we need to actually differentiate it once. We differentiate it once, we're going to get e to the power of 6 minus x squared, and we've got 2x times that. <coughs> then the next step, when you differentiate this, oh, yeah, thank you. When we differentiate this next, what rule do we need to use? Anybody? Product, product, product. Because it's being multiplied by two things there. Guys, come on. It's a product rule. So I'm going to put this as uh, u equals negative 2x. V equals e to the power of 6 minus x squared. u dash equals negative 2. V dash equals negative 2x e 6 minus x squared. Which means my f double dash of x is going to be u dash v plus u v dash. So putting this together, I've got negative 2 e 6 minus x squared. Is that right so far, guys? Plus negative 2x times negative 2x e to the power of 6 minus x squared. Simplifying this, I have negative 2 e 6 minus x squared uh, plus 4x squared e to the power of 6 minus x squared. So this is equal to 0. So I can say 0 equals, but I'm going to take out e to the power, that, that whole thing. I'm going to take it out as a common factor. So I can have e 6 minus x squared as a common factor, which means I'm going to have negative 2 plus 4x squared. Is that okay so far, what I've done? So, as I was saying, if you guys get up to here, you actually get um, an achieved grade for it. Like So it's like two points or whatever. But from here, we need to do this. So remember, even with multiplication or division, um, I'm looking for... I can get rid of the e to the power of 6 minus x squared because that could be written as this. Equals negative 2 plus 4x squared. 0 divided by any number is 0. 0 equals negative 2 4x squared. Then I've got negative 2 equals 4x squared, sorry, positive 2. And then x squared equals 2 over 4. x squared equals half. Therefore, x is equal to square root plus or minus square root of half. Okay, and I think the key is putting the plus or minus. If you don't put plus or minus, uh, Okay, this particular paper, they say plus or minus not required, except positive answer only for merit. Okay, but just for practice sake, guys, just practice putting those plus or minus symbols anytime you take a square root symbol. And that should pop up with a merit. Is that all right? Any questions? So, next question, we have integration. Uh, use integration to find the area enclosed between these two graphs. Now, looking at it straight away, one of the things I'd, I'd ask you guys to do is always draw a rough sketch of things just so you can have a kind of like a little picture of what's actually happening. Now, if you can't draw a rough sketch, then draw it in your calculators to see what it looks like. So, at the moment, I've got a y equals x squared. That's a graph that's going to look like this. Then I've got y equals 2x, which is a straight line. So I'm looking at something like that. And I'm trying to find the area between the graphs. So I'm looking for the red area, which is that little spot right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but somewhere there. So my first step in this case, I actually need to figure out what the two coordinates are. So I've got x2 and x1. So to figure out the coordinates, what do you need to do? Or oh, intersection, find out, inter figure out intersection. Ideas? Do I need to press pause or can someone answer me quickly? Simultaneous or you can just put the two equations equal to each other. So here you got 3y equals x squared. 
So we can write y is equal to x squared over 3. And on the other hand, we've got y is equal to 2x. Okay? If I put them together, I've got x, so x squared divided by 3 equals 2x. x squared is equal to 6x. Rearrange it, I have x squared minus 6x equals 0. Which means, simplifying this, I'm going to end up with x times x minus x. So my two solutions are 0 and 6, or the two points are 0 and 6. So there's 0 where it meets, and that's that second value, which is 6. Now, do you guys remember how to find area between two graphs? It was something minus something, integration. Yes, but which one went on the first? Yep, yep, that's what I was looking for. So basically, it's integration of top equation minus whatever equation is at the bottom. And our two values, 6 and 0. Top equation, which one is on the top? Is it the straight line or the parabola? Straight line, so that's 2x. All right, minus the parabola is at the bottom. So the parabola, you need to write, make sure you write it in y. So I'm going to put that as x squared over 3 dx. Is that all right? Because you always need to have the equations as y by itself. You can't have 3y as an equation. So from here, integrating this, I have 2x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 9. And that's between 6 and 0. Is that okay so far? I don't need to worry about the 0. I don't need to worry about the c because it's definite integral. So all I have is, so area equals... Uh, 2 and 2 cancel, so I've got 6 squared minus 6 to the power of 3 over 9. Something is not right here. Alright, so we are on the right track. So we got 36 minus 24, and that equals 12 units. So, okay team, please don't quote me on this, but I know that you get a merit for this if you get 12 units. But from what I read in the schedule, it says correct integrals. What does it say, Azar? That's the first correct integrals? Or difference of two correct integrals, which is actually this part here. Okay. But of course, if you get that, you should really be able to solve it after that just by integrating it. Or I'm not sure if it's that part or this part. I'm really not sure what that meaning of that particular word is. But anyway, any questions? Yes. Uh, you can use your calculator to actually work out the intercept points. No, nah. no, nah. because that's from level like the previous year. So you can actually just get the points right away and do it. Any other questions, team? All right, that's us for today. Thank you for watching.